Ah, uh, MW3. The game where bad spawns and snipers don't exist. <laughs> yeah, right. Welcome back, guys. It's Starkiller here. And it's been a long time since I've actually made a video. And, yeah, I know, right? I'm actually making a video. I'm not doing a live stream for once. Shocking, isn't it? Well, guys, f I've finally gotten everything set up. Uh, my setup is not 100% complete, but it's complete to the point where I can actually start making videos now. Um, not exactly sure how many I can make at once, or how fast I'll be able to put them out with school and just life in general happening all the time. But I'm hoping I'll be able to do less live streams now because, let's be honest guys, nobody wants to watch a live stream that's three hours long after it's already been aired. I mean, nobody really wants to do that, and half the time whenever... I do a live stream, if we're doing like zombies, it's trying to run around, find the easter egg steps or parts, and that takes like an hour to do that. So it's pretty much just watching an hour or so of running, walking, hiking, jogging, jumping, and a few minutes of action here and there. So they're not... I, I do still enjoy them, don't get me wrong guys, I do still enjoy the streams because I get to interact with you guys. Yeah, and that's something I really like doing. I like being able to talk with you guys while I'm playing and get your guys' input on whatever. And so, like, don't get me wrong, guys. The streams, I'm not going to completely discontinue the streams, but I want to do more videos now than streams. And as a matter of fact, I was actually looking at doing a stream on the Xbox 360 uh, this weekend, but I'm still trying to figure out the settings. The capture card I have, the Hapog has a built-in streaming software, but... I probably honestly not going to use it because it's I've heard it's really not that good and I don't just want to put out mediocre gameplay I don't want to just be some average cookie cutter youtuber even though I pretty much am right now I want to make good quality content that kind of stands out uh, even right now I'm recording this in 1080p hoping that well hoping that it will come out 1080p because I don't know for some reason I record it in my capture card it's 1080p and then I bring it to the editing software and it goes down to between 480 or 720p and I really don't know why so I've been kind of messing with that hoping I can fix it and before you guys uh, ask why it's all skipping the gameplay's all skippy and lagging in the comments I did grab this out of theater mode so it's kind of skips around a little bit here and there um, I just kind of happened to hop on MW3 and I was looking for my theater and I saw that this game I had grabbed or I'd gotten this game about a month ago and I figured, you know what, why not? I'll upload it. I haven't uploaded MW3 in a while. And I hopefully will be able to use theater mode less now because I only used theater mode before because at the time I recorded uh, my gameplay with my capture card off my 2005 laptop. So it couldn't really handle uh, recording live. It, it's, I don't know, it's weird. I didn't even use the default uh, capture software that came with the Hapog. I used a different software. It was like um, uh, Arcsoft Showbiz, I believe. Yeah, I think it was Arcsoft Showbiz, I believe is what it was. So, I couldn't really record live because I couldn't cut them down and edit them like I can now. I'm, I'm using uh, Filmora Wondershare right now to edit this, and I, I don't mind this, actually. It's actually a pretty solid editing software. Uh, it's pretty straightforward how to use it. Uh, it doesn't really take that much time to learn. I opened it up and I was editing and testing clips. I, re I would record clips. I'd put them in here and I'd just test them out and see what I can do with them. And I gotta be honest, it's actually it was actually pretty fun. I I've enjoyed learning this software, and I don't know. I might stick with this one. I might get a different one as well. I'm not sure right now. Uh, just let me know what you guys think. How it looks down below in the comments. Uh, if it looks pretty good, then I'll keep using it. If you guys want to see something else, then I'll see what else I can find. Or you could recommend to me which software you think would be better. Um, I know Sony Vegas and Adobe Premiere are really good, but they're quite a bit of money, to be honest. I know uh, Sony Vegas, the full version, I think is like $800 or something, which is absolutely crazy. But it is like top-notch professional editing software. And believe me, if I just had $800 to throw away, I, I might even, I would probably pick that up, to be honest. But... Unfortunately, I don't. Not really making that YouTube money. Or <laughs> I, I don't have $800 to, to throw away on that <laughs> at all. Not even close. But, like I said, let me know what you guys think, how the video looks down below, and I'll see what I can do. And oh, get turned on right there. This is actually a pretty fun game, too. I don't know why I like this game so much. This game's got so many problems and so many bugs, but I always come back to it eventually. I really don't know why. <laughs> 
maybe it's just because this is the game that got me into the franchise. I played, I first played Call of Duty when MW3 came out, and I don't know, it was kind of a mediocre game to me. I didn't really care back then, but as time went on, I went back and played it, and I kind of realized how much I liked it, even though it's really not that great of a game. It Well, it is what it is. It has problems. It has a lot of problems. And speaking of which, uh, how old this game is. <clears throat> I know I haven't uploaded anything for Infinite Warfare Call of Duty 4 yet. Well, obviously. I I've just have done uh, streams on them. I'm trying to see if my capture card will work with the PS4. I already know it will, because I posted uh, four videos last year on the PS4 for uh, Black Ops 3's first DLC, Awaken Awakening, yeah, with uh, the four new maps like Splash and Rise and whatever the other two were. I don't even remember. <laughs> but I had some. I had to like. I had problems with it. I couldn't record. I could only record gameplay audio i couldn't record my voice over top of it or just there was there was something else too that i couldn't record and i don't really know why and i'm not sure if that's a problem with the capture card or if the settings i had or if just my computer wasn't powerful enough which it believe me my computer is more than capable now and that's another thing too another thing too since it's a more powerful computer i'm gonna be playing a lot more games with other people and yeah i'm hoping i can play like some uh World at War Zombies or something like that. I'm not really sure everything I'm going to be playing yet, but that's something I want to be playing. And, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me and my channel. It's been kind of a rough couple months for my channel. Just been doing live streams and the occasional nature walk, which <laughs> you guys apparently seem to like. Maybe I'll go on another one. It's snowed. Well, I mean, it's Canada, so of course it's snowed. It's like 18 feet of snow outside. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments what you want to see from me and yeah thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to rate comment subscribe we're on the road to 1000 subscribers and i have something planned for that and i'll see you guys later